Well, it's 11.30 right now, Thursday morning before Christmas. I just pulled into the entry point at Wood Lake. I'm going to hike in, get everything set up, rock in the uh, canvas tent and wood stove on this trip. My buddy from Utah is flying in, and uh, he's going to uh, be landing in Minneapolis about 12.15, and he's going to make a beeline right up here, and he'll uh, meet me, and hopefully by that time I have the tent set up and uh, all the firewood cut. Right now, seven degrees outside. The forecast is calling for uh, a low of about seven to 10 below this evening. And then tomorrow, cloudy, highs around 10 to 15. And it'll get a little bit chilly Friday night. Again, lows five to 10 below zero. Uh, that's Fahrenheit for you folks up in Canada. And uh, we'll hike out on Saturday and that's when the cold snap is gonna hit, I think on Monday. The forecasted high is 10 below zero with a low of 20 to 25 below. So I'll be back at my mom's house, nice and warm uh, when that comes For along. For a long time, I've had a flip phone and I just got a smartphone and I got Snapchat and all that fun stuff. So I'm just uh, finishing up some of those right now. Damn, things are kind of distracting. We'll go take a quick look at the gear. I already filled out my uh, permit and I have all my clothes, my sleeping bag, my sleeping pad in here. That weighs about 40 pounds. It's not too bad. And then we're going to be fishing northern pike on tip-ups. So I picked up three dozen light northerns. Got my recording gear. Then the sled itself. I have uh, the canvas tent and, and the wood stove. The hike back to Wood Lake where I'm going to go, it's about two two and a half miles. I'm going to camp somewhere in the center of the lake. And yeah, it should take me. Hopefully I'll be setting up the tent in about two hours or so. I'm in no rush. It's early enough. It's not going to get dark for quite a while. But I think we're set to go. My battery is already almost dead on this one. I have four more. So we'll see how much uh, footage I can get. But again, it's only a couple day trip. So I got my batteries, I carry them in my pocket, the extra ones, and uh, that keeps them warm and saves some battery life. But we'll get hiking and we'll uh, see Jimmy when he gets in, probably, hopefully by 5.36 p.m. There's been a strange, uh, <clears throat> a strange thing happened recently where there are a couple guys over by Isabella working on a, a garage, a couple construction workers, and a black bear came and bit one of them on the arm and then attacked some other guy's dog and the conservation officers had to put it down. So I told Jimmy about that. He's a little bit scared to be hiking in here this evening, but he's afraid of the dark and that sort of thing. So we'll see. Hopefully he doesn't uh, chicken out and sees me out here this evening. Just made it onto uh, Wood Lake where the portage comes in right back there. Uh, that portage is 180 rods. It's not too bad. There's some up and down hills, some rocks, but overall not too bad. There, uh, it, it snowed a couple inches last night, and Wood Lake is one of the more popular winter entry points just because it's a fairly short hike, easy to get to. It always helps when someone has been in before you to pack the trail down a little bit. And... I guess yeah pretty nice back here good amount of black spruce and then the lake itself will kind of start right around the corner and then we'll hike up another I guess mile or so but we're making good time it's a beautiful day not much wind Good temperatures for hiking. You don't get too terribly hot. You know, just dress in layers and add them as you need them or lose them as you get hot.
Looks like I'm for a little late afternoon update. Got the tent all set up. It's about four o'clock right now. Sun should be setting in about a half hour. So things are ready to go in here. Just gotta put a few things away. I went for a little hike with a sled about an hour and a half ago and found a cedar that's perfectly seasoned. So I've already cut, up, cut and split half of that. I have all this to go. We'll see how far I get tonight, but that's probably gonna be about all we'll need for the evening. And I have two tip-ups out right now, working on one more northern pike. I think we're gonna have a fish fry tonight. And what I do, so they don't freeze, is once I catch them, I knock them out and uh, bury them in the snow. And that way, the, the snow serves as insulation. And when I go to fillet them, they're not slimy, they're not frozen, and it, it goes quick, and we have some good eats. So with the final half hour, 45 minutes of light, I think I'm just going to cut a little bit more wood, fillet those pike, and I would assume that Jimmy will be in in about, hopefully an hour and a half or so. I know, like I said before, he's scared of the dark, so hopefully it's not too tough on him and he makes it in all right. Well, it's official. Jimmy made the hike all the way in the dark by himself. Oh my god. How you doing, man? How was the hike? Too bad. Is Scary? Gonna... No. It was a hell of a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Following my tracks must have made you feel pretty safe, huh? Pretty much, yeah. That was... You were the only one here. Yeah. So it was kind of Pretty easy. straightforward. Yeah. So that wasn't too bad. Good deal. So I'm here, dog. He's here, guys. Oh, you're recording? <laughs> <laughs> rock on. We'll see him home. Oh, rock on. Do you have a charger out here for it? No, I have multiple batteries. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, you didn't bring, decide to do a... <clears throat> Time to go get some firewood. It's like a promising shoreline. Isla's doing her morning routine. Rocking the sweater. Just don't slip and hit your foot. Huh? Don't slip and hit your foot. Be hauling you out of here. You're doing a great job. Maybe at that basin. Shouldn't be too bad. That's why maybe if I cut it up here, it'll be more solid. Oh, there's another tip up up behind the bucket. Got a double. Big pike. Oh yeah, it's it's on there. Big one. Nice. Woo! I think so. So when you pull this out, you give it slack or you keep it Yeah, just give it a little slack then pull it and set the hook. it. Too hard. 
Saturday morning stretches. Oh. <laughs> Ayla, it's your time to stretch. <clears throat> sit. Ayla, sit. Sit, 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 sit. Hey, sit. Well, battery's about dead. We had a good trip. We caught our six northerns yesterday. Had enough for a fish fry. Sent Jimmy back with a few. We'll fish fry up the family tonight. But another successful camping trip in the books. I was still a little on the cold side. Hello, and that will conclude the trip. Good for job. Record, for the record, that one was mine. I doubt that one. I doubt that.